Hey guys, and welcome to the wonderful world of Minecraft with me, La Juicy La Pix. I'm doing some work on my server at the moment. We're not currently on my server, we're in a single player world, but um, I've decided to get all of my creative builds that I've been making over the past year or so and put them all on my Minecraft server for you guys to enjoy in phenomenal epicness. So what I've done, I've actually made a flat world with the pre-generations that you can get in Minecraft. So you go to the presets when you make a super flat world and you can choose what you want. So basically this is like a standard Minecraft world. As you can see there's cobblestone underneath here and you can find normal ores underneath here which is pretty boobs. Let's just fill that in like so. But it's all super flat but on top you've got like the grass and you know we've got standard animals spawning but we've got these ponds which are coming handy. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna sort of go through some decisions right now and sort of go through them with you. Um, this is actually a spawn right by here. You don't spawn on top of this every time. You kind of spawn a little bit by here or a little bit over here. So this is the general facility or the, the center of the map. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start making out streets and putting bills in sort of plots, I guess. And on the server, um, for special people, um, I'm going to be giving away some plots where people can sort of make adaptations to this world. Time set. Zero. Seat. Seat. That's wrong. So people can sort of get plots. So I'm going to go through some road designs here with you. And uh, I'm just going to talk and have a ramble and just go on about random stuff that's been coming into mind over the past few days. Past few weeks. So I really wanted to get off my chest. And uh, I think the first topic I'm going to talk about today is, let's try smooth stone by the way, is uh, if you know Total Biscuit, you would know that recently he had a video recently taken down. It's back up on his channel at the moment when he did a critique of Gary's Incident, which is a game that he uh, sort of did a review of because he was given a re review copy. I receive review copies of games um, a few times a week actually and I don't always review them because I don't think some of the games are worth reviewing sorry if you're like one of the developers of those games but I think since I played ooh I can't remember what it's called now I played a, a car racing game the other day by Chasing Carrots a gym a German development company and that game was fantastic I really have to give that high marks personally but ever since then I've been receiving a lot of uh, a lot of review copies for games that are on Kickstarter <clears throat> and I don't want to mention any games or anything like that because, you know, Kickstarter is there for a reason. They're, they're pretty much there to proposition people to invest and, you know, sort of help the development and future of games. So, you know, I can't really nag that a game is crap and it's on Kickstarter because games are on Kickstarter to evolve essentially and sort of grow a community that's going to help give information that's going to help with development of the game and so forth like that but I've received a lot of shit um, shit messages asking for me to check out some of these games and seriously some of the games look like something I could probably do just doing a quick crash course in flash so uh, yeah that's kind of what's been happening and that kind of relates sort of to the Total Biscuit film because Gary's mod was originally on um, Steam Green, oh no, well it was on Steam Green Light until they got greenlit but it was on Kickstarter and they had a successful campaign and it's, I just want to say this right now that the Steam Green Light system is broken and Steam have actually acknowledged this themselves. Let's get some stairs. Yeah, Steam have actually acknowledged the green light system being broken themselves, which they're currently looking through, and there's going to be some changes to the system over time and so forth like that. I kind of like this road design. It's not, it's not too modern, and it's not too old-fashioned. Not bad. We'll just go with it for now. So yeah, the green Steam light system is broke because obviously games that get thumbed up get put onto the actual storefront where they're sold, of course. And uh, you do get a lot of shit games that are actually being sold on Steam, which is, I guess, to my point where um, I don't like that. Personally, I do not like that. Um, and I don't mean shit games as in a game that doesn't relate to my taste in gaming at all. I mean shit games that are games where they are actually broken and they're on public sale. So. That is my first point. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Have you 
purchased a game that has purely broken and it needs more work before before you even should have even purchased it before the game has actually been offered to be purchased let me know your thoughts on that in the comments because that's something i've been thinking about quite recently especially because i actually saw the original um the original um um video by uh, total biscuit um what the fuck is gary's mod essentially or w TF is the name of the show, and uh, he does some really awesome critiques. He's probably the best at his job. I've never actually seen anyone who uh, who actually uh, who expresses his opinions in, in his in his in very vocally in his own way, and very uh, very literally, verbally, uh, without getting too complicated. So I do feel that. You know, Total Biscuits, kind of cool, and he knows he's talking about this, so the critique was really helpful for me. I was actually going to purchase Gary's um, Gary's Incident a week before I actually saw that video, and I kind of laughed at it, and I kind of hoped I didn't. But I did show a couple of friends, um, a couple of friends who actually used to play on my old Feed the Beast server with me, still keeping contact, and uh, they said no to it too, and, you know, fair enough. And that's just based on the promotional stuff they put out there, so the... PR is quite bad for that. But putting that aside, Total Biscuit, you know, his, his point was correct. It was a very in-depth critique. And there was even there was even bugs in the in the critic in the uh, the review, the playthrough, whatever you call it. So uh you know it was fair game there that um he had a bad experience and it was live on camera being recorded. Okay, so my next topic is probably gonna be the whole donation thing on Twitch where you get a lot of small channels that ask for donations and uh, there's a reason why I'm actually talking about this is because last week if you're unaware the Minecraft guys did a Minecraft live stream marathon um, for um, Child's Play and obviously the donations were added to the Far Lands of Bus Total which is pretty awesome been watching Kurt J Mac now for couple of years I guess probably about two years maybe just over possibly a little bit more because it feels that time goes so fast I've been watching good for about three years too and you just really don't notice how how fast the time goes but I do this thing every weekend when I go on twitch and <laughs> I look for small streamers like myself and I give out very not big donations but I give out donations to help to help help the morals and help uh, the sort of help uh, how do you put it help motivate these guys because they're in the same boat as me we're all have small YouTube channels we stream every now and then and for someone to come to my channel and make a donation like that I would be like oh my god that's like so cool this guy's awesome but it kind of dawns on me now that that is not the way to go do not donate to live streamers in some sense this is debatable um obviously there's going to be some other side of defense for this which if points are brought up in that i would probably kind of change my sort of uh, my sort of decision which is don't donate to live streamers or youtube channels and there's lots of people out there who make a living from donations so um, there's a debate on that too. Okay, I'll just get to my point because I'm probably rambling too, on too much. I feel that if I want to make a donation to something, I think it's best to do it to a charity. Um, I think the, the 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 whole goal of it is more, uh, you know, you can Charities have changed over the past years because um, you could donate to a charity and you would never know where your money goes. But um, charities are getting very transparent now, especially Child's Play. And uh, you can definitely see where your money goes. And other charities are following the way. So, you know, donate your money to charity if you want to donate your money to anything at all. And the whole reason why I've come to this sort of decision is to, like, always put your money towards a charity first before you actually consider putting it towards someone else's live stream or channel. It's because of what I said at the beginning. is that on weekends, I go over to Twitch and I look for small-time streamers like myself. I do like this road, by the way. I think we need to enhance the sand a bit by here, make it sort of uh, circular. And uh, yeah, I used to go on Twitch on the weekends. 
And I used to donate money to small streamers. And it's kind of backfired a few times because I have been called a liar for donating before. I donated to all the girls live stream. I actually have a screenshot of the chat log that she said to me where I made a donation to her chat, uh, Twitch. And I said, hey, I made a donation. Just wanted, you know, just wanted to show my support and, you know, he han and, and she went, you are lying. How dare you come to my stream and lie? I've actually got, you know, I've got a screenshot that maybe, oh, I can't, I don't really want to pull who it is up and stuff because I've had an apology from that. But for me to like give my money out to someone like that, I don't know to sort of, and then have a reaction like that where I'm called lie, it really kind of puts me off doing it. But I kind of thought, oh, this is got to be a one in a million chance of someone actually being quite crude to me during after I make a donation so I thought hell with it the next weekend I continued doing it too and uh, this is guy on uh, on Twitch he's he's kind of he's not huge or anything but he's blatantly got a decent following um, he's ginger by the way too so you could potentially throw a good guess into who that was and I made a donation to his live stream too and um, he muff he said something over the microphone that was really nasty to me I can't quite remember what it is, but he was, he was like, he, oh, I can't remember. It was, it was something he muffled under the microphone to me after I made a donation. I was like, you are absolute twat. You're an absolute twat. Why did I even donate? And I went straight to, I want to put something along here, like clay. Um, and I went straight to PayPal trying to cancel the donation and I couldn't. And I'm like, oh shit. I just donated to an absolute tosser. And then ever since that's ever happened, I have only donated once, and that was to get access to a server. Um, just for the the perks of it, I guess. And I am never ever gonna donate to another Twitch streamer unless it's for a charity, of course. Unless they're doing a charity stream. <clears throat> or another YouTuber. And the only type of YouTuber I would donate to is like Kurt J Mac where it's Donations go to Farlands of Bus because the guy's head is screwed on so much. He's such an awesome guy that his channel obviously pays for itself. So why ask for a donation? And I, I've got donation links and I'm going to take them down. The only reason I would ask someone to do a do uh, put money through a donation link for me is so they can get VIP access on my server. And obviously that's going to help pay for the server. That's it. And even then, the server pays for itself, technically, because my YouTube channel generates money. So, why, why ask for more money? I mean, you only get paid for your own efforts, of course. It's like my new microphone. You, you guys think my microphone sounds brilliant. And I'm really happy about that, because I decided to uh, save my YouTube money and purchase a microphone that I thought was kind of cool. And it comes with Pro Tools software, too. This is actually an an avid um, vocal microphone. You can use it for instruments, you can use it for podcasts, commentary, all sorts of things. Maybe that's a little bit too... Maybe we can... I do like the clay there though. Maybe a fence needs to go on it too. So as you can understand, this road by here is going to be um, sort of pushed out a bit more. And then we're going to have plots made from here. Obviously, when I make a stretch of this, I will world edit it. I'm not going to make a road for like 200 blocks or 2,000 blocks or whatever. So that's just where I wanted to get off my chest, really. Um, I'll talk more about the YouTube thing, though, where uh, the whole pain for itself thing. Um, I've seen people do campaigns for them to, like, get buy new graphics cards and stuff like that for their YouTube channel so they can obviously make a... You know a higher level of uh, production for the YouTube channel which is totally fine totally understandable but at the same time I'm thinking you're doing YouTube your channels partnered somewhat or you've got some sort of uh, you know you've got some YouTube partnership where you're obviously getting some monetization your channel is paying for itself why can't you concentrate on producing content that is sort of idealistically sort of good I'm, I'm not saying that my channel's good or anything like that but i'm still on a learning curve whether 
whether I'm delivering uh, quality content or not, and sometimes I feel I do, and sometimes I feel that I make shit videos, that's how it goes, but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say, guys, guys, I wanna get a new microphone for my channel, um, can you donate? I'm not gonna do that, my channel earns money! The only thing I'm gonna do is work hard at producing content, and sort of, you know, reaping the benefits of that, why do that? So, that kind of goes to the, goes back down to the point where, that's in the wrong place. Back down to the point where I say, please guys, if you're going to donate to something, donate to charity. Please do not, do not donate to your favourite live streamers or whatnot, because they've got it covered. Trust me, they have it covered. Right, it's getting close down. They have it covered. Why, 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 why would they do it? It's obviously... That's just... Uh, actually, I want some glass. It's the, mo it's the most silliest thing in the world. That... Donations of viewers is second income for a live streamer or a YouTuber. That's how it comes down to. I think this needs some more detail. Let's have a look if we've got some chiseled stone. Alright, we've got chiseled stone bricks. Let's try this. This has a nice pattern on it. It's not bad. Um, I could do with putting some other stone bricks in here too. Yeah, so that's my kind of rant. I wanted, I seriously wanted to get that out because that's my opinions on the whole situation. Um, I don't want you guys to be offended by it if you don't, if you don't disagree with me, because obviously everyone has freedom of speech and f freedom of press and fair use and whatever like that, which kind of relates back to the whole total biscuit thing where his video got taken down to be re instated after there was a massive uh, sort of flood of support for the poor guy so I hope you understand my opinion on this and um, maybe you agree and maybe you disagree please let me know in the comments about this but personally I think money should always go to charity unless there's kind of an exception where someone is kind of charitying for a friend I guess maybe um say for example Zelda phone I guess where uh they were raising money for a coffin for a friend that passed away in a fire. And, you know, those those are exceptions there. But generally, if you're going to give uh, a Twitch streamer some money or a YouTuber some money, that's just bonus money for them, regardless. <laughs> that feels a bit too... too weird. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know, this is kind of okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to MC edit some builds in here now. I'm going to make this look very, um, how do you put it, natural. I put the builds in here natural so it doesn't look too sharp. The reason why I'm building the road like this, I'm probably going to copy and paste it multiple times, is because this is this is a bucket script you can get for your server. Obviously I'm going to use it. But what it does, it generates roads for you which are about three wide like this. And uh, and then the plot sizes are a bit too small. And the plot sizes are square too. I don't think I want square plot sizes on here. Because if you imagine there's a ton of squares. With grass on like this. That people can build in. Um, people are going to build things to fill the square right to the corner. I've seen it where people. They build a pyramid and they'll go right to the edge here. And, and the overall sort of look. It's really nasty. I kind of. I want to put my builds on here and I want to allow other people to build too, but I want it so it looks like a growing city, I guess. If you get me, rather than there being like a big pixel art penis or something, which I'm not going to allow pixel art, so I'm only going to. I'm only going to allow premium builds, so. Maybe I'll give away some VIP slots on my server soon. But anyway, guys, hope you understand my little rant. It's something I just really wanted to talk about. Because it's kind of driving me insane and I, I guess I got my YouTube channel. I've got you guys to vent to and you know you guys inspire me and as much as I hope I inspire you. So it kind of goes both ways. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below. Why would you donate to a, uh, a YouTuber? That would be a very good question to ask. Or why would you donate to a Twitch streamer? When the revenue is already being generated. Hmm. Why? <laughs> but anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. I will see you next time in another video on my computer, using my microphone, using my new keyboard and mouse. All paid for. 
from its own generation of revenue not from donations <laughs> but anyway guys thanks for watching and i should be seeing you soon so peace out